All right, so today we are looking at some G1 styled or Generation 1 styled Optimus Prime figures. And I have three with me right now. I've got the G1 or the original Generation 1 uh, Optimus Prime by Takara Tomy. Uh, I've got the uh, Power of the Primes Leader Class Optimus Prime and the uh, Transformers War for Cybertron trilogy Earthrise leader class Optimus Prime. So let's start with the alt mode. And as you can see, every single one of them looks absolutely fantastic. Really liking it. I mean, if you have if you have all these figures, you're gonna know how awesome they are. This Earthrise figure looks really, really cool. Has all the aesthetics right uh, about the G1 Optimus Prime. It's just that the trailer is a little bit small. Power of the Primes is a little bordering on Power Master Optimus Prime and all that. And it's a little too stylized, but it's really, really working for me. Lots of kibble here and there, uh, but I love the size of it. I think the proportions are great, much better than the Earthrise. And now we come to the original Generation 1 Optimus Prime truck, which to me, I think, since it, the cartoon was based on this particular figure, I think this one is still the best figure when it comes to its truck mode. It's got that classic 80s look, which I don't think any of the modern mainline Optimus Prime figures have been able to replicate. I love this huge, huge trailer, massive trailer. Uh, everything about it screams G1 in the 80s, and I really love it. Lots of chrome, aesthetic-wise. I think for truck mode, the G1 Optimus Prime is still the best. If you're gonna set a, an Optimus Prime on your shelf in a vehicle mode, uh, both are both these two guys are great, but I think you should still go with the G1 uh, truck mode So let's talk about robot mode now just before I turn him into his official Optimus Prime robot mode I wanted to show off the Orion Pax figure together with with these two other figures and he's about the same size as a uh, Voyager class figure, so it's pretty cool. They actually look great together even if you're if you're going to display uh, these figures on shelves, they, they'll look nice on the shelves, uh, on the shelf together. So for robot mode, obviously the old G1 figure, yeah, he's a little corny looking. Uh, Takaratomi designed these figures to really look great in vehicle mode, but the robot mode was a bit of a compromise. So it's still good, it's still a classic looking Optimus Prime, but in terms of how he looked in the cartoon, well, this one pales in comparison to both these figures. The Earthrise figure looks great aesthetic wise. Some kibble here and there. Uh, he really evokes all that Optimus Prime goodness, the G1 Optimus Prime that we've all grown uh, to love all these years that we grew up watching in the cartoon. So I really like how he stands. However, when you talk about robot mode, I've always seen Optimus Prime as like a very beefy, chunky looking robot. And the power of the Primes, Optimus Prime, really embodies who this character is. And for me, out of all these three, I'm gonna go with the power of the Primes Leader class Optimus Prime as the best in robot mode. Sure, he's got a lot of flaws, big backpack here and there. You know, not as solid looking as this one, but you want a really strong, beefy, really good, hefty robot Optimus Prime. This is the one you want to pick up. Now, overall, in terms of aesthetic, transformation, playability, robot mode and alt mode, the overall grade, I think the Earthrise is the winner. I think if you have to pick up one, only one of these figures, I would recommend you get the Earthrise Optimus Prime figure. Um, he's not too big. Uh, the robot mode and the alt mode really evoke the Generation 1 cartoon Optimus Prime. Transformation is spectacular. Um, and he'll look good on the shelf in both modes. Whereas these two figures, this one will look great in alt mode. This one will look great in robot mode. Again, it will be up to you uh, based on what you need. If it were up to me, my per 
personal recommendation would be to get all three because they are great, great figures. But if you just want a truck mode in your shelf, this is the one you're gonna go to. If you want a robot mode, just on your shelf, this is the one you go for. But if you want an overall, just one Optimus Prime for both uh, alt mode and robot mode, playability, aesthetic, overall, generation one look and feel, then the Earthrise figure, I think, is the one for you. They are great to me. They are 100%. They're all 10 out of 10 for me. I really love these figures. Let me know in the comments what you think of these Optimus Prime figures. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe. This has been uh, my review of the best Generation 1 inspired or G1 styled Optimus Prime figures. Thanks for watching.